Indian Trail kindergarten teacher Christy Hopkins takes us behind the scenes of remote learning in District 58 for Episode 7 with an emphasis on the use of Seesaw as a remote learning communication tool for teachers and students. I was using Seesaw five years ago when I began teaching kindergarten because it allowed me to hear every student's thinking and learning and help families to see what we were doing every day in kindergarten. When we started e-learning, I knew that Seesaw would continue to allow me to teach my students by bringing instruction into their homes through the activities I could create and I could still hear each student's thinking. I started by accessing the resources available to us such as Benchmark. I used my teacher's manual and started selecting some of the most important lessons that I thought would benefit my students. I needed to download all of the texts that we were going to be reading and import them into Seesaw so that I could start creating all of my new activities and continue with my teaching. Today we're going to compare and contrast the coolest Mom, vacation. I need help with my science. Of course, teaching from home came with some challenges. I also had to download different graphic organizers, take screenshots of cards that we were using in school, and screencast videos, songs, and poems that we were using to reinforce skills. I also used these downloads to create new activities for my students so that they could learn just like we were doing in school. Now, let's use what we know to think about the different kind of texts we read today. Mom, can you make me some lunch? A few recordings might have been needed when I was creating those too. I then had to type and record directions for all of the activities. Recording the directions gave my students some independence that they otherwise wouldn't have had. Think about both of the stories we read Mom, this week. can you tuck me in? More re-recordings were needed during these times too. But in the end, after hours and hours of creating activities and doing some re-recordings, I had so many activities that would allow my students to continue their learning at home. Horse, fire. I don't hear it either. Hose, horse, horse, and no sounds for this time. Rose, fire, nothing. Rose, hose, yes. Tire, fire, yes. Today, I get to listen to my students learning and independently completing activities such as this one. Hearing my teaching come through in their recording makes all the hours of work worth it, so leaving them a voice comment with lots of praise and compliments lets them know how proud of them I am. You did such a Mom, great job. Are you recording? But of course, that requires just a little more re-recording every now and then.